Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Remove Sanity and today I am reviewing Exception, published and developed by Trax Master Software on the Xbox One. So what is Exception? Exception touts itself as a two-dimensional combat platformer within a three-dimensional world. And in fairness to it, it is, but it is also so much more. The game is set inside an old lady's computer system who has accidentally clicked on a link and downloaded a virus. You play as a lone member of the system. You must step up to lead the resistance and battle against a new brutal regime. And this leads me on to the gameplay. The aim of the game is a simple one. Get to the end as quick as possible using a variety of well-timed jumps, wall flips and combat to progress to the next level. But like all puzzle platformers, this isn't as easy or straightforward as it sounds. The twist to this particular platformer is that entire levels are transformed to reveal new challenges and opportunities. You may think you can see the path, but once you grab the shifting light at the end, the level changes to form a new one in exciting and unexpected ways. The shifting lights themselves vary how they affect the level, so it always feels unique and fresh. Some can be a simple walk to a new location, while others provide a full rotation on either the Y or Z axis. However, it's the more extreme ones I love that slice the level into pieces to create a whole new zone. Most levels have no time limit to complete, but they do record your time and place you on a scoreboard should you wish to get competitive and go for that speed run. Levels also progress from static walls to moving platforms to really ramp up the complexity and keep things fresh. After completing a level, you gain time bonuses for speed, style, damage to enemies and avoiding damage. This is there to encourage you to experiment with your playstyle, as there is often more than one solution to get to the end of the level. Another lovely twist this game adds to the puzzle platform genre is that the levels are often populated with enemies which can hinder your well-timed run in a variety of ways. Enemies themselves are varied, with some being nothing more than a path blocker. Others attack you if you get too close, but the worst ones are the enemies that actively seek you out to destroy you. Now combine this to an ever-changing level and it forces the player to carefully manage how you deal with them. One option is to destroy them there and then, but that could mean losing precious seconds. Another is to bypass them completely using your jumping skills, but be ready for the potential pitfall of finding and blocking your path again should the level change. Boss flights have also been added to provide another layer of variety. In one instance I had a huge entity crashing through the level behind you, forcing me to speed through it. On another one I was forced to do a, use specific terrain jumps in order to get to the boss's weak spot. For me, these were the least fun, but for an adrenaline junkie I can see the appeal. Combat is very fluid and a simple button press for general damaging sword swipes. This is perfect as you will often find yourself rushing through the level, swiping at enemies or destructible objects to help ensure a smooth clean run. Again, this may seem easy, but you need to time your attacks carefully as should you miss, you will incur damage and lose precious time. As you progress, upgradable special attacks are unlocked for your character, then stringed together to create some visually impressive and highly destructive combinations. To upgrade these said special attacks, you need to spend collectibles called bites. These can be found in the levels themselves and are well hidden. There is one per level and it will need the player to think well outside the box in a bid to collect them. So what about the graphics? One of the game's best features is its lovely neon look. It shines and shows a strong Tron influence, one that I personally adore. Enemies, levels, damage and character visuals ooze a bright and stunning look that have been carefully designed not to be too overpowering regardless of the number of things going on. Simple touches like sparks when you do damage or the lovely background image gives this game a unique look all on its own. 
I especially like the great pixelization effect whenever you take damage. And the more you get hurt, the more pixelated the screen gets. Now the story is told using a lovely comic strip style effect and it uses button presses to move the forward the content boxes. Here is the only area I had a little bit of an issue with as this seems to slow down what is a well paced and well designed game. So what about sound? The soundtrack here is another superb element and states it has assembled from the very best synthwave artists. Regardless, the tracks complement Exception's retro futuristic aesthetics perfectly, and it just enhances what's already a great, great package. General sound is also well done, from thief thumps against the surface, to the sparky death of an enemy, and the Star Wars whoosh of a sword swipe. The best way to experience these lovely tracks and tones is with a good gaming headset or a soundbar. And this leads me on to the rating of the game. Now I rate games in order of avoid, on sale, great purchase and must own. My rating for exception is a must own. This is because this amazing platformer is the perfect blend of speed and difficulty whilst providing new and exciting concepts to the genre. It also provides a great replayability factor with upgradable skills which then can be used on earlier levels to get a better time. And with approximately 125 levels to contend with, that's a large amount of content. The game is currently priced on Xbox for $11.99 or approximately $15 and depending on your skill and patience would give you about 20 to 30 hours worth of gameplay. If you like puzzle platformers, you will love this. If you like speedruns, you will love this. If you like Tron or Neon, you will love this. In fact, I'm struggling to think of those who won't love this. And maybe that's the best reason I can give for you to purchase this. Well ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I do hope you like this review and if you do, please like, share and subscribe if you so wish. And if you would like to put some notes or even just a comment in the comment section, I do like reading them. Anyway, have a great time gaming and I'll see you all again soon.